And finally, WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny has more on the life of Remote Area Medical's founder, Stan Brock. There's no such thing as a routine flight. Stan Brock's long and interesting life truly took him around the world. And as a child living on the south coast of England, Brock was a witness to history on D-Day. So there I was, this elementary school boy, and I remember watching these American boys and those British boys. I mean, the air was just filled with airplanes. And so many of those guys didn't make it. The reason why we're here and enjoying our freedoms is because of the boys that flew in airplanes like this. Brock always cherished life be it the animals of the wild as a television star on Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom or a pilot navigating the skies over South America. Where I used to live down in the Amazon, we were 25 days march from the nearest town. And so if you didn't have an airplane, uh, you weren't going to get any medical care. All these worlds converged on East Tennessee in the early 1990s when Stan Brock made this his home. He assembled a crew, complete with a C-47 that flew during D-Day and started a lifetime of missions to provide free medical help to the world's remote areas. Our goal really is to just to be able to treat as many people uh, that need help in as many remote and rural areas. The missions abroad became missions to help people at home, suffering in poverty with basic dental and vision problems. Here in the United States, why do people have to endure this kind of discomfort to get the essential uh, health care that they need? because they simply can't afford uh, to go to the doctor. Remote Area Medical has no paid employees. All of these people are totally unpaid and just do this because they feel that it's something that uh, is well worthwhile. Stan Brock's long and interesting life made a lasting impact. He made the lives of others better. And those who met him were a witness to history. We can all load our supplies, load our doctors, to get out there and do the job. In Knoxville, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. And he did the job. Stan Brock, a television star, the founder of Remote Area Medical and humanitarian who called East Tennessee home, dead at the age of 82.